Welcome. This is a little video about something called Galileo Sequence, which was introduced to me by my friend, Professor Margolina at Suffolk University. And Galileo Sequence simply says that, well, if we start with the first odd number, one, and divide it by the second odd number, we get, well, third. Um, we could also take the first two odd numbers and add them together, and then divide that by the sum of the next two odd numbers. And if we do that, we get 4 over 12, which actually turns out to be equal to 1 third. Okay, so we try this again. We add the first three odd numbers. 1 plus 3 is 5. And we'll divide those by the next three odd numbers, 7, 9, and 11. And let's see, we get 9 over 27, which again is 1 third. And so... We might suspect that, well, this will go on forever, and sure enough it does, and it's, it's not very difficult to see that uh, algebraically, simply using that the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. But I'd like to show you a geometric approach to viewing uh, these equalities. It again will rely on the fact that the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared, uh, but it might be easier to see, and in part two of this video, we'll see a very nice consequence of this geometric version. Okay, so let's start by trying to understand why, for instance, 1 plus 3 plus 5, I mean, it's clearly 9, but why is that 3 squared? Why does it work out that way? So we start by drawing a 3 by 3 grid. Of course, this will have nine dots in it. And here's what we notice. If I draw a line through this first dot, okay, that corresponds to our one. Now let me draw a line through these three dots, which make a nice L, and that corresponds to the number three. There are three dots. And if I put a line through the next L, that'll go through the five dots. So sure enough, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is going to equal 3 squared, or 9. And of course, this will continue. Every time I add a new line, I get one line which matches the number of dots on this side, another one which matches the number of dots on this side, plus one more on the diagonal. And that's why we always get the next odd number. All right. Well, let's say I wanted to know the ratio of 1 plus 3 plus 5 to 7 plus 9 plus 11. Well, let me add in the next three L's of dots. And I'm going to do these in different colors to highlight what's really going on here. So we know since we're going to be doing three different L's on top of what we've already done, it's going to end up being a 6 by 6 square. So I'll just simply fill in the dots to make this into a 6 by 6 square. Again, notice we'll get 1 for each side and 1 for the diagonal. So we can see here the 7 corresponds to this first L, the 9 to this second L, and the 11 to this third L. But if we only want 7 plus 9 plus 11, then we, we simply want this outside bit. But take a look. It's really just three copies of our original 3 by 3 square. And so the ratio is simply 1 3 by 3 square to 3 3 by 3 squares. And so again, this will be 1 third. Of course, there's nothing special about just having three odd numbers here. If we had taken five odd numbers, we would simply duplicate the 5 by 5 square on the side, on the bottom, and once on the diagonal. And so the ratio of the first n odd numbers to the second n, odd, n or the sum of the first n odd numbers to the second uh, n odd numbers added will be one third. All right, we'll see you in part two where we get another nice consequence.